What's up, big time gang? Welcome back to another Tommy Big Time video. This one here is going to be a battery change on a Magnum. We're changing both movements. So we're going to be doing the main movement here. As you see, it's not ticking. Crown at the moment is all the way in. And the secondary movement also is not ticking. So if you're interested in seeing the battery change on both of these bad boys, stay tuned. Alright, so first things first, we're going to take the micro adjustment link out. You see that there? I just simply push that with the pick, pop that link right out. So there it is, spring pins out, micro adjustment is open. And now, I already have my screwdriver set up. We're going to take out the four screws back here on this Bolt Zeus Magnum. And this is model number 25204. So I got this one in a trade recently and within a couple weeks of owning it, it already died. And those uh, secondary quartz movements are almost always dead nowadays. If it's an older watch, nobody really replaces them. I personally don't really care if it's running. But uh, this is something that I've been asked about multiple times. I've made one video on it so far. So I figured I'd do it again and uh, let you guys see what entails changing that battery on that um, secondary movement, which isn't too complicated. But it does require um, a small case back opener, which uh, if you don't own one could be a problem. Oh, case back is off. I left the screws in it. Now we've got to undo the crown. Make sure we don't damage the crown stand while we uh, remove the plastic casing. And we're just gonna simply pop this plastic casing out. And this is actually my first time opening up a Magnum. I've done the small movement, but I've never done the uh, actual main movement. This is a Ronda 5040D. So we've got one screw right there. We pop that out. Okay, now let's pop the battery out. Battery is out. And like I figured 5040D is a Ronda, a Renata 395. <clears throat> I got my battery right here. 395. And then for the secondary movement, we'll get into that now here as soon as I finish up this main movement. But the secondary movement is this here. Renata 335. So you've got the 395 for the main movement and a 335 for the secondary small movement. Pop that in place. Let's 
slide that cover back under apply some pressure line it up oh dang screw fell out of the hole that sucks Okay, screws back in. Now we need to put this plastic piece back in. Straight forward. Now the case back back on. Screw that back down. So I'm going to do it like you're putting on um, lugs on a, a vehicle's tire or, or rim. And I'm going to cross pattern to try to get it even tightened. So I'm not tightening all the way down. business to see if it's ticking yes it is so that part of the battery change is done now we can put this uh, back together and then start digging into the crown or not the crown but the uh, secondary movement I don't know why I said crown So right now I'm just putting the micro adjustment pin back in. And there we go. Okay. So hardest part's done. Or the first part's done. I wouldn't say the hardest part because getting this screw case back off of this is no joke. So I'm gonna change up tools real quick and I'll be right back. All right, so I changed tips. So I have this size now and originally I had this one in for the case back so you can tell a little difference. So now we're gonna take out the four screws here. So those four black screws. We're gonna take those out to get this movement off of the case. One loose. Two. 
two loose. Then we're going to do the two bottom. Three loose. And now we've got four loose. So let's see if this will remove. Okay, and now you just got a big old hole there. And everyone thinks these are connected. The movements are not connected as you can see there. That is solid. So I'm gonna move the four screws out of the way so I don't lose them. And now we have a tiny, teeny screw case back. So now for leverage on this thing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my needle nose pliers, which are here, and I'm going to hold the actual whole case. I'd say maybe like this. And then we're going to, and I have electrical tape over the teeth so I don't scratch the watch. And then with the case back opener, we're going to attempt to remove the case back. Now this is at the smallest setting my case back opener will go. I'm actually going to use a cloth to hold the movement in there as well. I really do not want to scratch the secondary movement here. And I've got a nice firm grip on it. And now we're going to come in with the case bag remover. And there we go. Now I can finger loosen it because it's already uh, been popped by the uh, case bag opener. And there it is. So there's that tiny, teeny movement. So now we're gonna take it out of here, loosen this up, set it down. Now they remove this little tiny plastic that's in there. Come on and focus. There we go. Plastic is removed. I don't. I don't remember there being a screw over the uh, secondary movement, but there is. So let's get that to focus. Come on. Come on. There we go. So I got a screw right there. I got to take out. So I'm going to loosen it. I'm not going to be going to remove it.
Okay, so we've got... It slid over. The battery is now exposed. So we're going to pop the battery out. Battery is now out. And now we're going to place a new 335 in. And this is what the battery is in that secondary movement. Okay, new battery is in. Now I'm attempting to put the screw back in. Now you can see it there. I've got everything back in place, but getting this screw to tighten down is a whole nother story. I believe we've got it. Now plastic goes back on. Now there's a little cutout for the crown stem. So we want to make sure we put it over the crown stem correctly. And there we go. Okay, so now case back goes back on. Okay, bring the needles back out. 
I want to make sure that this is secure 100%. You don't want to leave it loose. So I place the movement back in the needle on those pliers. like so and then give it a nice little twist with the case back opener oh shoot and that can happen too Okay, we're nice and snug. Now we just gotta put this back on the case, which is pretty straightforward. Just screw it back in. So, standing the watch upright like this, I'm gonna place the four screws back in the four holes. Okay, so one in, two in, three, and four. Okay, now I'm going to gently set this on the case. I'm gonna try to align one hole. Like so. Now that I've got one in, the rest should go in pretty smooth. Okay. Okay. Okay, it's nice and snug. So now we're gonna set them. So the time right now is 7.15. So we're gonna set these to 7.15 a.m. So. There we go. And then today is the 8th, so first I'm going to move the date, and that's out on the first click, so we're going to get the date to the 7th first. And this is a Ronda 5040D movement. Okay, so we're at the seventh now. And now we're going to move the hands to the AM hour. So when the date changes to the eight, you know it's the AM hour. So it appears as though we we're already on the AM hour. So now we're doing the whole 24 hour cycle. There we go, now we're switched over to the eight. And now we're going to 715. And I passed it. And there we go. 
now both movements are work running and we're all set hope you enjoyed the video I hope you learned how to uh, work on your own magnum um, I don't have links to the tools but um, most of the stuff if you search like uh, um, uh, watch making you know screwdriver set or um, 0.5 millimeter screwdriver set you'll find something with the 0.6 maybe that will work and then a uh, two prong uh, case back opener this works there's way better tools out there I use what I have but uh, Amazon has a lot of the stuff if not slinger.com definitely has a lot of the tools you'll need I'll order all my batteries from Amazon so Amazon's got the stuff you need to uh, work on your own watch hope you enjoyed the video have a great day Make sure you smash that subscribe button. God bless.